Hello and welcome to Absent Tears Gaming and here are this month's PS Plus Essential Games for October 2023. To start us with we have the Callisto Protocol for both the PS4 and PS5 as a platinum difficulty of 5 out of 10 and will take you up to 10 hours to complete. The spiritual successor to the sci-fi survival horror Dead Space series recreates the haunting Blood Street hallways and space zombie slaying with some striking detail of blood and guts splattered all over the place. Although not quite Dead Space, the game is situated on a moon prison where the convicts are revolting. It's your job as cargo pilot Jacob Lee to get to the root of a mysterious virus that is mutating people into toxic Avengers and find a way off this hellbent prison planet. The game is like a gauntlet of creepy corridors, gore and crazy lunatics. Never are two passages in the game the same. Be prepared to be up to the neck in putrid pus, boiled entrails and even the prison's toilet mess. Yep, I said toilet mess. Is there a cleverly made to keep us locked in? Duck and weave as you strike and bludgeon off the limbs of your attackers. Callisto Protocol gets a mouth-warring 7 out of 10. Next up for both PS4 and PS5 as well, we have Farming Simulator 2022. Platinum Difficulty is 1 out of 10 and it can take up to 55 hours. Ok, so it's another farming sim, that's the 11th entry to the franchise. The type of players of Farming Sim 2022 are either ones who enjoy creating a successful farming business from scratch and love the challenge or ones who just love to escape their daily life and jump into a complete different type of job from their norm. The choices of farming operations focusing on agriculture, animals and forestry. Personally, I don't fit it, any of these roles. However, I have enjoyed a few hours on the game and do like simulators. You're handed a barn, a house and a few acres of land at the start. It's entirely up to you what kind of farm you wish to create with legal boundaries of course. Every day, your farmer awakes at the crock of dawn, create a routine, plough fields with your trusty tractor. Then, once you see the plows of earth turned over and some sort of straight lines created behind you, you need to jump into your cedar and repeat the process up and down, up and down, up and down. You get the picture. Sounds pretty boring, right? But strangely, as I was plowing my fields and listening to my industrial agrotech music on Spotify, I had the sun blazing down on me and thought, if I did this as a job, this is exactly what I'd be doing. I did also try to do a burnout in my tractor, which just created a mess, and the field lines, which were supposed to be straight, clearly weaved about a bit as I was listening to my music but hey no one said I had to create 100% straight lines and by the end of my joyride in a tractor I was able to set the thing on fire. Anyhow the graphics still look pretty plastic and the controls seem to have not changed much since the game first came about as an indie game. It's easy to get lost, the map is terrible but maybe this is supposed to mimic today's GPS systems. It gets a poor 3.8 out of 10. Our third game is Weird West for both consoles. This one's a good one. Platinum Difficulty, 4 out of 10 and 35 hours to complete. Weird West is a twin stick shooter and one of those games that feels like a stealth and combat playground even as it tells five most serious well-written stories with interesting decisions throughout. What ties Weird West's plot together is a group of shadowy figures using a magical brand to force your character's consciousness into bodies of various unsuspecting people. It's a clever play on the way so many games have us to take control of a character who already exists in the world, but still needs to bring up to speed with the identity. Here our character is going through the same confusion as we are. They have no idea why they're playing musical bodies in this weird wild west world. For anyone as old as me and has played Fallout 2, the dark yet humorous dialogue keeps you enthralled in the game. Take down werewolves, wraiths and insect infested zombies who 
where five characters are with their own classes and background in this RPG. Any original Fallout isometric gamer will love this. You will find yourself reloading your save game however, but this is all the fun of it. In Weird West there's stuff everywhere and exploration is almost always generously rewarded. You also have the freedom to profit by any means such as robbing stores by breaking in at night, digging up graves or just simply going around murdering people for fun and of course stealing a horse is a quick getaway. All this at the cost of your reputation which is just like you'd expect gets a bounty placed on your head if it drops low enough. It's well worth playing and Weird West pulls in a nice shiny 8 out of 10. PS Plus members have until the strike of midnight on Monday the 2nd of October to add Centro, Black Desert and Generation Zero to your gaming library. Let me know your thoughts on this month's lineup. Peace out. I shall see you on the next one. Happy gaming guys.